everybody. I feel like Peggy Sagers when I say that. No, she always says, hi, ladies. I say, hi, everybody. And I'm here today to tell you about Craftsy. It's not a tool or an ocean, but it's a website. And Philly told me about it. And then after Philly told me about it, I read somebody's post at Pattern Review about it. But it's called Craftsy.com. Let me see for sure how they spell it. C-R-A-F-T-S-Y dot com. And they have all kinds of classes. They have classes for knitters, classes for seamstresses, classes for gardeners, and I don't know what other kind of classes. Oh, yes, I do. Jewelry making. Oh, my gosh. And do you know what? I've decided I want to learn how to make jewelry. My manager was here yesterday uh, from Oklahoma City Store, and she stayed at our house last night. And she wears the most beautiful jewelry. <clears throat> she has hair down to here, red hair, big, bushy red hair. She's beautiful. And she wears the prettiest jewelry. And I just said, oh, it's such a pretty necklace. And she said her daughter made it for her. Her daughter had taken some jewelry making classes. And I noticed on Craftsy that they had jewelry making classes. And I didn't really have any interest in it because I thought, you know, it was probably a rock hanging from a string or something. I didn't know. <laughs> but anyway, after I saw... The necklace she was wearing and the matching earrings, oh my gosh, I was so excited. So I'm going to take some uh, jewelry making classes if I can get them for half price. Oh, and that's the other thing about it. A lot of times they put the classes half price. They're like $60 usually for a class, but I haven't taken, I've taken four classes and I just signed up for one today and I've gotten every one of them for half price. So that's $30 and it's very, very, very well worth $30. But this is something I had never done before, so I wanted to show it to those of you that haven't done it either so you'll know what you have to do if you take the classes. They, well, first of all, you need to tape it together better than that. <laughs> they give you a pattern, and so you have to print the pattern out on your printer. And so then you just get this big stack of papers. I'll post a picture of it on my blog. You get this big stack of papers, and the papers have all of these little triangles on them. And the triangles all have a number next to them. This is 47, next to 47, 41, next to 41, 48, next to 48. I'm going to try to hold it still. Maybe the camera will actually focus it. It took me, oh, probably two hours to cut out all the papers and put all of the uh, diamonds together because when I told it to print out the 35 pages, somehow it skipped page 20 through 35 and I didn't notice it. So I had to go back and print those off and at first I thought I was missing just one page and then I noticed another page. Oh, I'll print that page and then I noticed another page and finally it dawned on my lightning fast mind that I was missing all the pages from 20 to 35. <laughs> So make sure to start with that you have all the pages printed out or you're not going to be able to find the matching numbers to match up. So anyway, you end up with a real pattern. This is a sleeve. This is the front. Now I haven't decided what size I wear yet. You can see it's even in color. So you can cut your size out by color. I think that is so cool too if you have a color printer. And <clears throat> the class I'm taking, let me see, what's it called? Uh, oh, it's on the pattern. The Sassy Librarian Blouse. And I didn't know at first what that meant, but what it is, is it's a blouse like um, Laura Petrie would have worn. Remember? Oh, what was the show she was on with, um, oh, what's his face, the funny guy? It was Robin, Laura, Petrie, I don't remember what the show was called, but anyway. This is the blouse that she would have worn. And then she said somebody else would have worn it too. Who was the other person she said would have worn it? Hmm, can't remember. Anyway, they have so many shows on television now that are from that era. Uh, one of them is called Mad Men. And I just absolutely love the clothes on the girls. Those cute, cute dresses. I remember my mom wearing those dresses. And we wore those dresses when we went to school. When I went to school back in the olden days, the girls had to wear a dress. You didn't wear pants of any sort or jeans, not even for um, sports. You had to wear a dress all the time. So I am really glad that dresses are coming back in. But I just wanted to show you 
that if you take the class, if you're learning to sew, the, um, there's a teacher, and the classes consist of videos, and it is in such a format that you can watch it anytime, day or night, any month, any week, it's on there forever. And you can redo the lessons, the lessons are all in order, you know, lesson one, A, B, C, D, E, F, lesson, lesson two, A, B, C, D, E, F, and so you can go back to any particular portion of any particular lesson. And you have access to it forever. They don't say, you know, you can just look at it for six weeks and too bad you can't get back in again. You have access. I have taken a gardening class and oh, it was really, really good. And I am so excited that I have the option of going back and I didn't have to sit down and write down everything the man said about gardening. I can just go back and watch it again whenever I want to. Maybe next summer I'll actually have time to make a garden. So it's crafty.com, all kinds of classes. So if you're interested, go there and check them out. I have not made a pattern in any of them until now. This is the first time I've made a pattern. And it's, uh, it's really a cute blouse. It's got pleats all across the front and either uh, sleeveless with the band around the sleeve or a short sleeve. And I think it's got pleats in the back. Just a really cute blouse. So anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you today. So check it out and let me know what you think, okay? Bye!